Uh, these three button clock kits, I've got two of them here. Uh, you can see one's smaller than the other. But uh, <clears throat> even though the, <clears throat> the components are numbered differently on the boards, um, they are actually the same circuit and can run the same firmware. Now the, the firmware that's supplied with them is rather complicated, it's got stopwatches and things in it. Um, so this is much simpler. Um, you press the left button, advances the hour. So you can see this is a, a 12 hour one. Um, and the other one I've got the uh, 24 hour, so if I advance the hour on that it will go up to uh, 24 hour clock mode. There you are, you can see they're both reading the same time. Now the, uh, so the left hand button always just advances the hour while leaving the time running. They both set at exactly the right time at the moment. Uh, the right hand button has a dual function. Um, first it, it, it acts as a dimmer, so at night time these th things can dazzle a bit, but if you just press that, um, it looks on the camera as though it's sort of changed colour, but it's, it, it doesn't change colour of course, it's just uh, uh, a lot dimmer. And there's four stages, so that's the dimmest and two, three, and that's full brightness. This one's just the same. And again, you can see that um, that doesn't affect the, the time. They both keep working and showing the right time. Um, if you do a long press on this button, it alters the way those um, LEDs in between the hour and the minute and the second work. So at the moment they're pulsing uh, once per second, they're on for half a second and off for half a second. If you do a long press, uh, you can see I've changed that one now to just be permanently lit. Again, it doesn't affect the time. Uh, another long press, oh, and you hear it works the beeper uh, just to tell you that you've done a long press. Uh, another long press, and they're permanently off. Uh, third long press. Camera battery ran flat. But, uh, we're nearly done now anyway. Uh, third long press uh, and they're back to flashing again. 24 hour one's exactly the same. So it just remains to show how you set the um, the minutes and seconds. So you do that with the middle button. Um, so I'm going to alter this 12 hour one. Um, so it, it advances the minute and at the same time it sets the seconds to zero. So if we want to set this one back right again now, uh, look at the top clock which is still showing the correct time. It's going to be 12.48 the next time we get a chance to set it. So we go around to 47 on here. Right, uh, now I've got to wait until the seconds gets to zero and move it on to 48 uh, at exactly that time. And the easiest way to do that is to just press and hold it because that will, that will advance it onto 48 and hold the seconds. So I'm pressing and holding now, watching the top clock. Five seconds to go, four, three, two, one, release and they're both synchronised again now. So that's it, that's all it does. You you choose the uh, either the 12 hour or the 24 hour firmware to load into it. Uh, I've also got the original um, code out of the clock uh, chip out of the uh, AT, uh, what is it, 89C 2051 if you want to put that back in. Uh, and they're all on the website. So thanks for watching and you can hit the usual buttons if you want to subscribe and all that sort of thing. 
Uh, links to the files in the description. Thanks for watching.